the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Family cats. Talk to me. Nah, uh, don't, don't talk to me about second hand cats. This is not second hand cats. This is flying cats. I know you prefer the first one because it sounds more realistic, but. Bear with me guys, because last week you probably or probably did not hear that a prototype flying car has completed a 35 minute flight in Slovakia. Where's Slovakia I hear you ask? Just, that's, that's not important yet, it's in Europe. Can we get on with it? It has a BMW engine and runs on petrol. Its creator Professor Stefan Klein said it could fly about a thousand kilometers at a height of about 8,200 feet. It takes a swift 2 minutes and 15 seconds to transform from a car into an aircraft and can carry up to two people or one really fat person. <laughs> I will choose to ignore that. It's not the best that humankind has to offer, seeing as it can only take off and land vertically, it needs a runway, and there are still questions on safety and public use. But it is definitely a step in the right direction. As human beings, I don't know about you guys, but ever since we were a kid, flying cars have always been synonymously thought of with the future. We've been trying to do it for decades, dreaming, obsessing, and creating. And finally, it seems like we have somewhat arrived. A lot of corporations are now probably gonna be chucking their money into this sort of industry because it does seem like that's the direction that the future is heading towards. But if you look at how decadent society has become, yeah? Because we've been working on the outside world, perfecting and beautifying, shortening our time, looking at convenience that we have lost our morals. We have lost the very things that we used to work on in the past and that would improve our character, our manners, our faith because it would help increase our inside but because we're so deluded into this whole notion of getting the most comfort, the most enjoyment out of this world, we have somewhat misunderstood why we're here. But when it comes to the flying cars, yeah, we didn't hear anybody complain about the suffering it took. Yeah, the hours, the years, the amount of injuries that these people had to go through in order to get this to us. You didn't hear complaints that Oh, there's so many ways that this could be done. You know what? It's too confusing. I'll leave it. And you didn't hear any complaints about the amount of people that have died from car accidents, from plane accidents, and obviously a combination of both is ridiculous. But we worked at it and we finally achieved it. Now think about it, if human beings are able to send metal in the air with meticulous planning, pondering, and action, imagine if we worked that same amount on our inner selves. Imagine the spiritual heights that we would also reach. Rather than blaming the problem of evil or rather than blaming oh there's so many religions and there's wars and fights that are happening, let's, let's get realistic. And just like you saw obviously the creator of that car knows how the wings fold in and you know the height and the weight and all that. If it was me I'd stick four people in there and go as high as I could and obviously things would go wrong because I'm not the creator. You can't ask my advice mate. So with the human beings. Allah's created us. That's right and only Allah can advise us and He has in the Holy Quran. He's told us that He has created us for His worship. Yeah, Worship not just praying all day long, worship even entails the correct method of business dealings. How to deal with one's parents, how to pray, how to view the poor, the needy, the disabled. Yeah, Islam shows us how to live our life in the best possible way. If we do not follow Islam, yet we follow any other ism and schism, because they're man-made, they will always have holes in them. But if we study the Book of Allah and just take one science, 
this is my fi uh, this is my favorite science as well it's the science of rhetoric when studying the quran seeing why allah says what he says and the sentence structure and the english tools and metaphors similes and so on yeah it really shows how meticulous yeah how miraculous the quran actually is and i suggest if you are not familiar with this book there's no harm I'll put a link in the description. You can order one for free. That's right. Yeah, order one for free. Just pay for shipping and all that sort of stuff. And it will come to you for free. If you have it in your home, read it. Yeah, read it. But read it with rhetoric in mind. Otherwise, you're just going to say, Oh, Allah said this. Why is this three, four lines? Or oh, maybe it is. There's a reason. There's a reason why Allah has done it. Allah is the architect. That's right, Allah is the programmer. Yeah, Allah is the one who plans. All right, guys, great news when it comes to the technological world. And hopefully we'll get great news when it comes to our internal world as well. Let humanity, just like it's worked on the outside world, start working on the inside as well. And then let's see the heights that we can reach in both spheres. Yeah. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.